Ding. Locked door. Computer. Open door. Quite a few doors. Ew, that's is that damaged? No. Excuse me. Well, I love this little window into the other girls' rooms. Actually, see, it's pretty well kept. Okay, so the key is for that door, so let's go to the other doors first. This one appears to be open. The stand is littered with action movies and cigarette butts. Chicago. Frame painting of the Chicago skyline done in the stylized silhouette. The bed. Coyote's bed has a diary with several papers sticking out of it. Whoops! Open the diary in the first chapter! There's a receipt stuck between pages on the diary entry. Inspect the receipt. Receipt for Browning Max paper pistol from Gin Park downstairs. <laughs> and a sign note saying how big guns on hot women turn her on. Oh, that's quite cool. I don't wanna, but I wanna. Read the diary entry. I came back to my shirt shift to find four of Paco's goons sleeping on the, our apartment floor. It's getting fragging ridiculous. I want to be with him, but with the real Paco. With the real Paco. But this cutter dreck keeps messing everything up. I love him, but he's totally different with the gang. It's how I made the cash, baby, he always says. I try to tell him he doesn't need the cash. I can support us both with what I'd make at the seamstress's union. But he still goes on these runs. With these bozos all over my floor, I feel like he's just seeing how far he can push me before I kick him out. I try to be patient. But why does it all have to be one way? Oh, honey, that is the, that is the sign of an abusive relationship. As soon as I last and left, blip, blip, I'll read it while I drink. As soon as the last cutter was out the door, I lost it. I told him if he ever pulled a direct like that again, that he would be sleeping in the alley. Of course he begged and pleaded with me, telling it would never happen again. I don't want to deal with this anymore. I don't want him to leave. He's the reason I got through all that stuff last year. Got my bartending license, got this apartment and this life. I know he cares about me and loves me, none of his bone with the cutters. I just wish I could slice out that gang from our life altogether. That's not the fear that comes along with it. Mm. Second paper. The handwritten poem. Oh, this is private. Let's just say that Paco should stick to guns and motorcycles and leave the poetry to others. Oh, my character censored it. Basically, it was a bad poem. Read the diary. Sometimes it seems that Paco reads my mind. Oh, my diary. Maybe he does the latter. I wouldn't be surprised. Hi, Paco! <laughs> Ever since last week, he hasn't mentioned the cutters once. He leaves the apartment with a see you in a few hours, babe, and returns later without comment. I don't know if he's really going, if it's really going to help for us to avoid the subject in conversation completely, but I have felt better without a constant arguing about it. Yay! For the last two nights, I come home from work to pack a work, waiting up for me, slouching against the old dumpster couch, with a novel four inches from his face. I imagine that as soon as I keep turn the key in the door, he perks up and he makes himself look especially studious for when I get the door open. He seems superficially surprised to see me, but I love his little act. It's it's really sweet, but I know this is going to probably end horribly. Third paper. A receipt, an old photograph. Receipt. A COD receipt for a special order. Five pounds of zebra meat from Maury's Meat Emporium. Located near Pike Place Market. I love alliteration. What's the picture? Is it meat? Oh. No, the picture shows a young girl with caramel skin and dark brown hair. She has a snake wrapped around her arm, yet she's smiling. The back of the photograph has shadow scrawled on it. Weird.
fourth paper. A receipt for a wall safe installed in the bathroom door, set to a combination of 342436. Wonder when that'll be useful. Oh, that's, that's it. Put the diary right hand. 342436. Looks like a coyote keeps her clothes in boxes on the floor. No objective, get into Coyote's computer. Coyote's computer is ancient. Probably from fish out of a junkyard. Doesn't even have a data jack. The cracked display is covered in fingerprints. Tapping at the keyboard causes dust cracked fans to spin up. Only to display the on screen password? Without the password, the only other button on the screen is password recovery. Leave the computer, I will figure that out in a moment. The broken mirror was hiding the wall safe. Input the code. Safe beeps cheerfully in response and the door comes open. Boop. What is in here? A frag grenade? Oh, I was expecting a clue. Wait, why did I get a room key if... Oh no, the key was for that thing. So what? what's here? What is this? There's a mid-grade security panel attached to the nearby door. I was required... Passwords required. Who is this is still? Oh no! I can't help myself! Ooh, it's, it's the twin beds in the next room. I don't think I get to touch anything. I'll just tell them I got the wrong room. Right, computer hacking. Saves, always good to do saves. Especially before you do a thing you could mess up on. Select password recovery. Please answer three security questions to the reset of the password. Your first childhood pet. Oh, is Shadow the snake? That makes sense. Sort of. Go ahead. Answer the story. Question two. Favorite musical act? Oh. The shadows. Really? That is cute. Answer the story. What is the name of your hometown? Uh, oh, oh, Chicago. Chicago. Answer the story. Security answer incorrect. Damn it. Oh, I like this though. Okay. Need to find another clue. Okay, so we got Chicago. Got shadow. Got some movies and cigarette buds. Close the band. Favorite band, favorite band. Isn't that gonna be a t poster around here somewhere? Welcome to Chicago, it's Chicago. The young girl with caramel skin and dark brown hair, I'm assuming Coyote. She's snake wrapped on her arm. Bad, bad. 
something in there about a band. Something studious. Um, Paco. Let's. Thinking, thinking. Wait, three, four, two, four, three, six. Is that musical act. Loudening music has me worried. Let's go ask Jin downstairs if she knows anything. Basically, I think I should ask what her favorite musical act is. Don't want her to know I'm talking about a computer at the same time. What if Maury's meet Imperium? Imperium. Her face twists in disgust. No, I am a vegetarian. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm I'm in the way of the options. Oh, I don't want to move this. I'm reading them anyway. Do you know Paco? He's a ganger. He remembers the cutters. He is a good kid in nasty line of work. I warned Coyote against getting attached to that type. You know, like long. Did you know Jim Puck sold her a gun recently? I'd be more surprised if she hadn't. Bounce can deal with most troublemakers, but around here you need a gun to take out take out trash to the dumpster. The barons don't look that nasty. Um. Do you know Coyote's favorite band? That is a stupid question. Indeed, I do. She plays her Starfire record so loud. You. <laughs> she plays her Starfire record so loud that you can hear them down here. I told Mr. Clue to have her turn the track down more than once. Well. I give the game props for being creative enough to make me think they were all in the room and then be like, no, actually, you, you actually need to talk to your friends. And it's Ash and Cody. That's a, that's a cool thing that doesn't normally happen. Shadow, the snake. Starfire, the DC character. And Chicago. Your password is reset to Nuku Pabstbu. Security. Never write down your password. I, I have this temptation to write down that password. Hang on, I'm just gonna just gonna quickly open a thing and write it down.
N Q P A B S P. Look, I know it's not going to become important at any point. But if it is. Logging in. Object complete. Com I'm getting three karma for hacking someone's personal computer. The computer has a basic list of applications calendar, contacts, and access history. Calendar. Three days ago. Go meet with Dali, Delilah about gig. Today, meet Paco for a day to Pike Place Market, due in 30 minutes. Kyoto's contact has exactly one entry, someone named Paco. There's no comlink number or other contact for him available. This does not seem like a very useful list of contacts. Never mind. Access history. A quick scan of a recent research shows that Coyote has been reading a great deal about hellhounds. It also suggests more than a casual film interest in vintage action figures. But I suppose she, that just means she's cool. Leave the computer. Miss Kabuta, I need to get to uh, Pike Place Market now. The church should be there. If not, she's getting a gig with Dahlia. Should we stop? How can I help you? Kyle has a date with Paco at Pipe Place Market next half hour. If you would go down there, it might bring peace to my mind. I'll call a cab for you. I should be able to get you there in time. Gamba. Gamba. Oh. Gamba take with a sign. That's not what that means. Okay. Look at me in karma. I should probably spend it now. This game appears to go combat story, combat story, combat story. So far. Which I really like. Spirit control. Oh, it's limited by the one above it? Okay. Um. Maybe I want to increase my rifle ability. Range combat. Oh, so I can't. Okay. So I'm just going to do range combat and rifle. Confirm. Better gunner! Uh, I'm going to quickly. Ooh! Gina's got. No, she was just. Not. Did you sell the Browning Max Power to Coyote, the bartender? Hey lady, I'm discreet. I'm talking about my clients and what they buy, bad for biz. However, I'm sure she would recommend me, if she was a customer, which I'm not saying she is. She can't recommend you if you're dead. Did she say anything about what she wanted with it? Ooh. Well, she said she was uh, looking for stopping power. He's back from the drama. Is it more? No thanks, not interested. So she's premeditated something. Potentially. Or it's just being clever at this point. To the cab machine! So the game's separated into kind of like hour long chunks, which is quite nice. Oh, see you in the next part. You catch a cab from Touristville to Pike Place Market in a mercifully quiet ride that takes you from probably going to get mugged from probably going to play too much for drinks. Compared to the urban wasteland of the Barrens, the downtown area is filled with modern buildings, lighted streets, and unbarred shops, all living beneath the shadows of massive corporate arcologies. Arcologies. Corporations. For many, these are called. Oh, come on! Our colleagues are home. For others, they are hulking monuments from where the world went wrong. Famous for its fishmongers, Pike Place Market has been around since the early 1900s, overlooking the bay. Now, it's a market for all things legal and illegal. A melting pot of haves and have nots, 
Even though most of the shops are closed, the sights, sounds, and smells hit you for the moment you step out of the cab. Game auto saved. New objective. Find Coyote's boyfriend, Paco. We have 30 minutes. Dun, dun. Oh, well, I wonder where he could be. Universal Brotherhood. Oh god, they're all meeting and it's creepy. Tiddly bits, junk shop. Oh, that's cute. The paper is a lie. Okay, I will see you guys next time.